The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. It's time now for our tale of the tape. He is Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live, undefeated. And the man he'll be facing, it's Roy Jones Jr. Weighing in at an even 201 pounds, he's five foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 74 inches. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. This man is an absolute machine. Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship of the world. Just take note, Todd. Check out the reach. Check it out. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Hiding out of the blue corner from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. We waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. The wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. Marciano with one of the best right hands in boxing history. If he catches you flush, it's good night. These punches coming from every angle. Perfect counter shot. Catch and shoot. Just misses with that jab. You'd like to see more jabs. Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. And they figure out the combination to this safe. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. There's a counter shot. Failing to score with that right hook. Roy Jones Jr. in trouble. How is this fight? Rocky Marciano takes a knee. What you see right there is a heartbroken fighter. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Mate, what are you doing? Come on, switch on, switch on. You can post it out there. And there's the bell to start the round. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down.
neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. When you're training to fight a swarmer, you've got to focus on your conditioning because they will push you to the edge of your limits. You find a swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. A straight right just misses. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, at this fight, will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. They need to be careful they don't punch themselves out here. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. He wasn't ready for that counter punch. <clears throat> Misses. Perfect counter lands. He needs to be careful. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. <clears throat> that counter punch caught him. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Wow, it was like two different leagues. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Beautiful counter punch. Can you believe it? Roy Jones Jr. is on the back foot now. Trying to measure his punches now. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. There's a counter shot. Roy Jones Jr., believe it or not, may want to take a knee here. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Maybe not as hurt as we thought, but he can't continue to take those punches. Can you believe it? Roy Jones Jr. is on the back foot now. Just one punch away. Roy Jones Jr. in trouble. He had his moment, but has it gone by? Can you believe it? Roy Jones Jr. is on the back foot now. We almost saw a knockout of Seth. Roy Jones Jr. in trouble. And it appears he's out of trouble, at least for now. But that just goes to show you, one clean punch changes everything. A very competitive round with 10 seconds. Roy Jones Jr., believe it or not, may want to take a knee here. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Well done with that counter shot. Hook misses. Just missed. That counter punch caught him clean. Not sure why he's not using. Are we 
witnessing one of the all-time greats go down. <laughs> Marciano is down! A big headshot and he goes down. We have got to see that again in slow motion. That's lights out right there. point there's no doubt who's won this round so far the referee deems they can continue but this might be a big mistake that is a show of character when you're put down your regal's hurt your chin's hurt your body's hurting and you've got to get up suck it up and think right i'm back in the game again it's so so hard for a fighter oh he's up I i'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner and if he does will he get back up on the stool again that was a shot one-way traffic with just 10 seconds to go in the round. Can you believe it? Roy Jones Jr. is on the back foot now. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Roy Jones Jr. in trouble. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. It's the wrong place to fall asleep. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Jones Jr., believe it or not, may want to take a knee here. It somehow weathered the storm. It's been a tough round. Oh my word, down goes RJJ. I think that will look even more dramatic in slow motion. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? One, two, three, four. Ah, listen to me. Are you okay? way through the round and they've got some work to do to get back into it he's back on his feet but at some point you have to think about the next fight and not this one somebody can smell roy jones jr in trouble a true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they get into can you believe it roy jones jr is on the back foot now comes finally waking up from that nap defense 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 is everything because they got shot once and not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go let's talk about roy jones in that last round let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown can make or break a fighter Ring the bell, and here we go. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got to he's bluff them. The perfect counter lands. Perfect counter shot. Jones Jr., believe it or not, may want to take a knee here. Vince Acola's finest is down. 
He knew his chin would get tested in this fight, and it failed him miserably. You're right, Todd. What a shot. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. A knockout victory. That is God. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.